All right, all right. Before I get started, let me say off the bat, you know, um, hit the like button. I really hate asking you to hit the like button before I say one word, man, but that's what the other channel's doing. Y'all don't seem to have a problem with it. Y'all help their algorithms. Y'all help their channels grow, so I'm going to ask you to do the same with me. Hit the like button, man. Hit the um, subscribe button. Share the video if you, if, if you want to share it with somebody. Please share it, you know what I'm saying? Just help the algorithm out. Uh, hit the bell icon also to be notified when I release more videos. For all those that have been donating, I wanna I wanna say I greatly appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um y'all some gangsters with this shit, man. Because you know, I don't give shout outs for donations. You don't have a little super chat bling bling with your name popping up. So I mean y'all doing this because y'all some real motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? The women too, the women been coming through strong, you know what I'm saying? So for those who've been donating, I mean I I got I gotta give y'all credit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all some soldiers, you know. Um I, I hope in the future we can actually work together, you know, because all the kinds of people I want to really meet, you know, people that do stuff from, from, from their heart, you know what I'm saying? They're not fake about it. They're real about it. I love real, but real recognize real. And y'all who've been throwing me a few bucks, y'all, y'all real, not because y'all throwing me the bucks, but because y'all doing it without any recognition, knowing you're not getting no recognition. That's gangsters, a motherfucker, and I respect that. <clears throat> now, let me get into this, this topic. My boy, brother JJ, you know, he, he's another one supposed to channel, you know what I'm saying? Brother JJ shot me an article that was talking about the dating issues that we have going on, how, how this singlehood is starting to cost women, literally, literally cost women, right? They're talking about the financial situation. The whole article was about economics. And it made me think about something. I was like, you know, it's crazy because we are so caught up on economics, but do anybody ever think about the role economics actually play and why we struggle to get married, why we struggle to um, couple up and hook up? Economics play a role in that, bro. Let, let me explain. I always talk about my experiences, you know what I'm saying, and, and how I dealt with all these women, how I moved and everything. But, you know, one of the realities about my life was, and I mentioned this before, one of my realities was I didn't work. See, I was a street hustler. I had a lot of free time. I had a lot of time to move around. I mean, I, 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 I created my own schedules, my own openings. I could literally be anywhere I wanted to be at any time I wanted to be there. And not miss a beat on my money. Especially after I started balling. I mean, all I did all day really was roll around, picked up, and dropped off. That's it. Picked up some money, dropped off Moye. That was my that was my life. Have a little cutie or two with me in the car, man. Ride around, pick up, drop off. Wait, wait for somebody to hit me up for more. So I mean, you know, it, it's it's like the way I was living afforded me the kind of time that's needed. For me to get to know all these women. There is no way I could have done that. If I had a 9 to 5. No way. My life would have been all the way different. Had I had a job. And I thought about them like damn you know. You brothers around here just blaming women. But have y'all thought about the system? Have y'all thought about what working on these jobs all day. How that takes away from your life. You're almost, especially in the winter time, you're almost working the entire time the sun is up. I mean, the whole time it's daylight outside, you at work. Or you commuting. You never have time to do nothing until the weekend if you're off or you're off day. Then your off day might not line up with her off day. I didn't have that problem. When, when one of my girls was off, I could make time for it if, 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 you know, if she wanted to do something. I could make time. I had no schedule because I was outside of the economic wheel, the, the economic rat wheel. I was outside of it. The economic treadmill. I was outside of it. So I'm like, damn, but you know, we don't, we don't pay enough attention to how this system affects us. Instead, we keep trying to use the system as a talking point for why women should change. Oh, they need us economically. Oh, I work hard. Oh, no, you should be saying, say, but I need to work less. I need more free time to live my life. 
It's a shame that we got to work till we damn near dead. Already, you know what I'm talking about retirement age. You, you work till you're 35 minutes away from death. And then while you're alive, you're almost working all the time. How much free time do you brothers have? Have y'all thought about that? And y'all get mad at these sisters who's pimping the game, man, because they out here just running around with these dudes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they, they work as little as possible and, and, and live off of men. Y'all get mad at them and shit, man. But shit, I ain't mad at them. Who wants to work all day? And that's part of the problem, too. You brothers have men work like it's a badge of honor. Oh, I work hard. I work hard. I get out there work. I ain't no pookie. Say, bro, who wants to work all damn day, man? That's why you can't meet nobody. You don't have enough time to invest in getting to know somebody. Then you're always stressed. You always got bills coming due. You're always worrying about how you're going to pay this, how you're going to pay that, how you're going to manage this, juggle that. This is no way to live. It's no wonder, man, we can't have relationships. It's no wonder we don't work, we, we, it don't work out. Come on, man, y'all got to start looking at the system. We don't want to talk about the system. It's, like I said, instead, we try to use that as a talking point to try to beat women into submission. We hope that they go broke so they have to deal with us. We hope that, that, that they need us financially. I don't want a woman to need me financially. No, I don't want a woman to need me financially, bro. No, man. I want a woman to want me. I want a woman to choose me. I want a woman to be with me because she wants to be with me. I don't want no woman that need me. Come on, man. And I hear all you dudes out there, even the pro black dudes, all y'all say the same thing, the need. Fuck, I don't want nobody depending on me, no grown ass person depending on me. For life? Fuck, it's hard enough to keep yourself alive in this damn wicked system. You want somebody else clinching on to you for life? I don't want that, bro. What I want is somebody that just want me. I want to be with somebody I want to be with. I don't want it to be about need, about finances. But it, mean, but it hit me. I'm like, this is why we can't, we, we, we can't meet. First of all, we don't have enough time in a day. We don't have enough time to invest. Scheduling don't work out. You know what I'm saying? Somebody working while the other one off. You got couples, you know, right now that barely see each other. You know, one coming home, the other one gone. It's crazy, man. This is no way to live, man. This is no way. And then we wonder why infidelity is high. We wonder why the, why, why the wife or the husband end, end up running off with somebody else whose scheduling is more in line with theirs. Somebody they can spend more time with. That's inevitable, man, under the way we live. You can't help but to stray the way this shit is. Because if you if you around somebody a little bit more, and y'all y'all seem to be around more, then shit, you got somebody that you could deal with better. You got somebody you could dump more time into. Your wife, though, shit, you barely got time for her. She barely got time for you. This way that we live, man, is the problem, bro. We got to address that sooner or later, but we don't want to address it. We don't want to talk about that. We blame anything and everything except the thing that's causing all of our problems. This system. It's the one thing we don't want to talk about. And it's the one thing we should be talking about. The way we live. We need, we, we need three to four day work weeks. In fact, we shouldn't have jobs at all, but you know, I'm going to leave that alone for now. You know what I'm saying? Because the earth provides everything we need. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 are, living, we are living messed up right now. We are the only creatures on the planet that got to have a cost to live. You know, that have to pay somebody for housing and all this and shit. You know, it's crazy. The, the world we live in is, is straight slavery. And y'all don't understand, instead of y'all recognizing that, Y'all hope that y'all can use the slavery of this system in a way that's beneficial to you to subjugate women to some kind of, or to relegate women to some type of uh, 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 subservient position underneath you because she need you. Bro, what is wrong with y'all, man? What is wrong with y'all? 
There is a woman that wants you, bro. You don't need that. There is a woman out there for you. You don't need the hope that things get worse economically on women because if they get worse on her, you are in this system too. This is one system. It get worse for her, it get worse for us. Come on, man, what y'all looking at? What are y'all looking at, bro? <clears throat> what are y'all looking at? You don't be that man, bro. Be a righteous man. Rise up against all of this stuff, man. We, we should not want this stuff. This is not cool. Am I the only one see what's wrong with the way we live? Am I the only one paying attention to this stuff? You have no quality of life underneath this system. You have no quality of life. It's just bad and worse. Good for very, 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 very few. And all of us live vicariously through them. But for everybody else, it's just bad and worse. Come on, man. We can do better than this, bro. We can do better than this. You know, we, we got to do better. We got to start being honest about the, 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 to, the, the, the totality of the weight of the system on us. You know what I'm saying? We got to be honest about that. This system is, is a burden. The way we live is a burden. The way we live is not natural. It's wrong. It, 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 it takes away life. It decreases the quality of life. Our, our life experience should be heaven. But instead we live in hell. Also that a few people can live like kings over us. Can live like gods over us. And y'all trying to figure out a way to be a god on your level. That's all you want. Well if I could just subjugate somebody on, on my level I'll be happy. You shouldn't be happy man. <clears throat> you shouldn't want to do to nobody what they do to us. That's whether you're a female or a man. You should not want a man in no subservient position to you, sister. And, and a brother, you should not want no sister in a subservient position to you because I, I, out of need. You shouldn't want that. You shouldn't even think that way, man, because that says you're a devil. That says you're looking to abuse somebody. I don't want nobody depending on me like that. So, 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 they, so they can't even be their own person. They got to do any and everything I say. You know what I'm saying? Which I mean, a bitch gotta do anything I say anyway. But I mean, I mean in a different in a different way though. You know what I'm saying? You know. But I don't want nobody feeling like they 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 can't walk because they need me. I got my rules and regulate. I, I got my ways. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm stern on them. But at least I want a sister to be able to say, "Well, Kush, I can't deal with that, my brother. I like you and stuff, but I can't deal with that." Good, boo. You know, have a, have a good one. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. I don't want a chick to be like, Shh. okay, I'm going to have to deal with it. <clears throat> I don't want to tell myself that I hate this shit, but I'm going to deal with it because I need, I, I, I need to be here. I don't want that. I'd rather help you at a distance than for you to be here with me only because you need to be here. I don't want that, bro. And y'all shouldn't want that either, man. So we got to do better, bro. We got to start looking at the cost of this system on us. How this system... How this system affect us? The system of economics is harsh. It is harsh and it takes no prisons. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't cheer on and look forward to the day when women are in such a dire situation where they gotta try to try, try to find a man so that they can survive. Because if they gotta survive, if they gotta survive, excuse me, if they gotta survive, we gotta survive. If they gotta survive, we gotta survive. Come on, people. Come on, people. I can't be the only one noticing this. We got to do better, man. We got to do better. Anyway, bro, you know what I'm saying? Um, let me put the donation slide up here. Like I mentioned, the people who donated in the very beginning, I appreciate y'all. Y'all had the information for the rest of y'all. Y'all see it. Venmo at the Black Alpha. Cash App at the Black Alpha. PayPal at RealBlackAlpha at gmail.com. Again, I know most of y'all don't like my style, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't like me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, poor gash, nigga, you know, I get it, you know what I'm saying? But y'all know I am telling y'all things that y'all have never heard. Y'all know I am saying things and giving y'all perspectives that y'all have never heard. Because I think on another level. 
The difference between me and the rest of these cats is that I don't want nothing to do with this wicked, evil system. I am a man of God. For real, for real. I'm not a religious person, but I am a man of God. I am a man of righteousness. And this shit is wrong. So anywhere I see wrong, I, I, I acknowledge it. But I'm like Ghost Rider or some shit. If I see wrong, I, it triggers me. This shit is all wrong. And that's why I say things differently because I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to word things in a way where I support the wicked and evilness of this system, trying to figure out a way for me to benefit from it over somebody else. I don't want to benefit from this over nobody else. I don't want this to give me an edge or, or, or an advantage over nobody. I don't want it, bro. I am an alpha male. I don't need nothing to give me an unfair advantage over nobody, bro, because I, I handle my own business. I stand my own ground. I do my own thing. I don't need it, bro. I don't need the cheat sheet. I don't need the help. I don't need none of that shit, bro. I am alpha, man. That's sub beta males that want that shit, bro. That's them Charlie Gammas, Delta, Epsilon type motherfucker, Sigmas. You know what I'm saying? I don't need that. This is alpha here, bro. All I want is freedom, justice, and equality for all of my people. I want for my brothers and sisters exactly what I want for myself. That's the difference between you, them, and Asadullah. On that note, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. the Black Alpha. Salam.